In this video, we'll be getting into some Pinterest inspired day date, date night looks. If you can take the effort and the time to get dressed up for that lady son, then you can be intentional for yourself. Hello beauties, I'm Gigi and this is Gigi's Flavor of Life and here I share my unique style to help you discover yours. Welcome into the closet for all of you beauties who are stepping into the closet for the very first time. And hey girl, hey to all of the returning beauties that are coming to spend a little bit more time with me here in the closet. Now today, I have to say a special hello to one of our tiniest little beauties. She tunes in with her mom and sometimes by herself on her iPad. Hello, Miss Camila. Everybody, if you get a second, please say hello and welcome little Miss Camila, one of our littlest returning beauties, back into the closet again. So today, of course, we'll be getting into some Pinterest inspired day date date night looks and also guys stick around until the end because i have a bonus look for you now this bonus piece when i originally got her child i could not wait to style her but then i forgot that i had her so that is a perfect and clear indication of one of the reasons why we need to edit and purge our closets I am so guilty of needing to purge and edit my closet as well. But again, that's another story for another day. So let's get into the first look. Now, when I was checking out Pinterest for these looks, I knew that I wanted to do like a winter white look. Now, I do not subscribe to the old adage of do not wear white after Labor Day. I do what I want, when I want, and how I want. Okay, and that goes for fashion especially. So when I saw this look, I wanted to recreate it. Now, please keep in mind that we will not be recreating these looks identically. The purpose of this is to, of course, give you guys inspiration and to also learn how to go into your closets and see what you have to make the best and wear the most and get your cost per wear and you know basically just like work that fast that fashion muscle because if you don't go into your closets and play around with the things that you have you will not learn how to i guess get the most out of your wardrobe you know what i mean so these kinds of exercises or these types of styling sessions or videos that I create they help me a lot too you know what I mean I had so much fun creating these looks and just thinking to myself like oh my god I have this or I have that and this would look great with that you know and a lot of these I think none of these looks with the exception of maybe like one um I had never put these pieces together before so like I said let's get into the first look so it's a, a winter white look and this young lady is wearing like a satin midi satiny sort of dress so knew i had one of those in my closet it's not identical to the item that she has but i knew i had a winter white satin midi dress it's um more of a not a midi dress but more of a maxi dress i knew that i had a cream or like a winter white sweater i could have also done this sweater that i have on now she's a little cropped as well I could have done this sweater with the look as well um so the skirt or the dress rather is a satin midi skirt from Zara I bought her a few seasons back this sweater again I already told you guys in the last video do not sleep on the goodwill because I picked up this sweater from the goodwill and she was about five bucks I put on my silver Bottega dupe earrings I decided to wear a scarf and tie it around my neck sort of like a sash now please also keep in mind guys if you have a black satin midi dress or a black long dress and a black sweater and you want to recreate this look in black or navy or whatever color your heart desires by all means do what do you so again like I said these these uh inspiration 
pictures or these types of videos are to give you inspiration. It's not a copy and paste situation. It's just not. And you add your own little touches to it as well. You know, as I have with the scarf, the picture, the inspiration picture, she is wearing more of like a turtleneck, but it sort of gave me the idea of, oh, well, my sweater is not really a turtleneck. It's more of, has a little more of like a mock neck, but oh, I have this beautiful scarf by the way so let me add a scarf it has a touch of winter white it has a cute graphic on it so i knew that it would add a bit of interest and another texture as well to the outfit i also grabbed the bag i happen to have a, a, a similar color bag as the inspo picture in like that oxblood sort of color this particular bag is by Mansur Gabrielle. It's the oversized clutch, which she's a new addition. And I'll have, I'll have to talk about her in a later video. Um, of course, we put on those Jeffrey Campbell ankle boots, the Walton Wedge heel boot um, from our last video. If you did not check that out, um, when you get finished watching this video, go back and check out the styling winter boots video. Those were um, one of the pieces that I styled up in that video. And again, they are not the same boot that the young lady is wearing in our inspiration video, but they add a little bit of interest and texture and honey, they get the job done. So that my dears uh, is the very first look. Now our second look, I feel like it's a little bit more of a literal translation of our inspiration photo. She is wearing in our inspiration photo like a balloon a balloon or a horse a horse cut what is what was it called y'all horse horseshoe a horseshoe uh style or shape jean with a heel and there goes again one of our basics a basic white button up that by now guys if you don't like i said before in the previous video invest in a white button up it's a basic you'll get so much wear out of it that's for sure now she she's wearing heels but i knew in this video i wanted to try out a pair of heels with socks i just love for some odd reason i love that look a cotton sock or a bobby sock with a heel i feel like it gives a lot of interest i feel like you can do so many different color iterations so many different heel iterations and it sort of like makes it i mean i guess it could be dressy but i, I feel like it makes whatever you're wearing the sock and the heel with feel a little bit more down to earth or a little bit more casual which i love that look so, or like a little bit more every day, I guess is what I'm really trying to say. So you can take like a dressy heel and throw it on with a sock and it looks like an everyday look instead of where is she going? She has on these high heels and, but nevertheless, so the jeans that I decided to pair are Fashion Nova balloon jeans. Of course, I pulled out that Zara button up. Um, these shoes are shoots silver heels and I chose to do like a lavender sock because again I wanted like a pop of color I could have done a sock with a print on it but I just I love that lavender color so I decided to do like a little pop of color with it because I don't know it's winter time it's sort of dreary it's drab and I feel like you know it just makes you happy just to see that little pop of that lavender so I also put on silver some are silver accessories i did the uh silver bottega dupes but these ones happen to be from anthropology i put on also a couple of colorful aluminum bangles by david yerman a pink and then a sort of like a it's not really green it's not really yellow it's like a yellowish green i don't know how it's coming it's coming across a little silvery though on canvas but it's more of like a yellowish green so i put those on and i just pulled out a cute little bag that has also that little lavender in it this bag is from francesca's she has a gold chain on it so again um i'm not just sticking to my silver accessories i've mixed all of my metals and i've also mixed them in with a little color as well which in our inspo picture she has on what looks like i think she has on like a black hoop or some type of a dark hoop 
And then she has one simple gold, what looks to be gold, a bracelet and a little ring on her finger but she didn't do socks she did black heels which I love too now she does have a small handbag and she tied a scarf around her handbag which I wanted to follow suit with that as well but I chose uh, as well another little pop of color of like a purplish bluish see-through sort of scarf that I've had forever. I think I might have gotten this from like my mom or my grandma. So she's very old, but she also adds a little bit of interest with the texture. And of course I tied it in like a semi bow. So it gives it another little element to the look. So again, like I said, it's not the exact thing as the Pinterest picture, but I've drawn my inspiration from the picture and I've made it my own. And like I said, that is the aim for these types of exercises is to go into your closet and to see what you have that may be similar or may not be similar or maybe the colorway is the same but the shape is a little different or vice versa but you have like a reference or like a starting point to get you know to get a look going all of our looks so far i feel like will make very great day date looks or outfits rather. Um, you can go to a museum, a lunch, a brunch, a breakfast, a early dinner. And if in you know these two outfits I feel like would be appropriate. And also, if anybody needs a sign, child, get yourself together with these inspiration looks and take yourself on a date. Because, honey, if you can take the effort and the time to get dressed up for that lady son then you can be intentional for yourself and style yourself and take yourself out for a beautiful date. Now our third look beauties, she's going out on the town, she's going to a dinner, she's going to a fancy dinner, she's going somewhere, she's going out, it's nighttime, she's out on the town, okay? So the inspiration photo, I couldn't tell if she was wearing a full on dress or if she was wearing a top and a skirt. But nevertheless, I looked into my closet to see how could I recreate this look. And sure enough, I had a nice long maxi skirt. This skirt is by Shop Icon. It's a black owned brand. This skirt is beautiful. It's so, if for my tall girlies out there, this skirt is perfect for you. I actually need to get it hemmed a little bit and I'm five, seven and a half, so. And I have one, I styled it with a pair of heels, a pair of Bottega heels, and I think these heels are about, they might be like four inches. So I could even stand to have this skirt hemmed a little bit. So for my tall girlies out there, this skirt is perfect for you and she also comes in gray she comes in chartreuse that beautiful greenish yellowish color she comes in a red which they're calling hot tamale and it also comes in white so if you're interested of course i'll link the website down below but this skirt is a great great skirt and a little bit of a basic to have in your wardrobe she's good so of course back to recreating this look she has on like a sheer sort of top or bodysuit so i have a sheer bodysuit that i added this one is from target um the blazer that she's wearing is a bit of a fitted tailored blazer hers is pinstripe i didn't have a pinstripe blazer in my closet but i have this beautiful blazer by ellie tahari black but it has a little bit of interest with the flowers so i said hey let me snatch this out the closet and put this on she also is wearing a belt to add a little bit of interest i grabbed the belt not the same identical belt that she has but a belt nevertheless to cinch the waist a little bit i threw on a pair of um a little bit of a drop earring these earrings are by david yerman and grab the bag this bag is old it's from marshall's she's an italian leather bag she has a little bit of a i guess like a zebra print for a little bit of interest on her and child out to, out the door out to dinner we are going that is our date night look now guys 
can we get into our bonus look i'm so excited to style this piece because as i was doing this video i was looking in my closet and you know just like shuffling through shuffling through like looking for pieces to you know complete the looks with and I stumble on this piece that I completely and totally utterly forgot that I had and I cannot believe that I forgot that I have it. So it is a, a flight suit or a pilot suit. And um, I originally saw, if you are not following politics and fashion to Shira Halyard over on here on YouTube, as well as over on Instagram, if you are not following her, Honey child, what are you doing? I'll I'll link her down below or I'll put her handle down below. But I saw her style a flight suit and this was probably in 2020. So I saw her style in this flight suit and I thought to myself, oh my God, I have to have one of those. So I was sort of like scour, not really scouring around for one, but I was keeping my eye out for one. So I end up, my cousin, hey Lainey, um, my cousin and I, we go thrifting a lot. And so my cousin's like, oh, there's this, this thrift place I want to go, I want us to go to. So we go to this thrift place and in this thrift place, they have all these different like stalls inside. So one of the stalls had like army and navy stuff. And here hanging the flight suit right there, child, it was waiting for me. It had my name all over it. So of course I snatched it up. At the same time, my cousin bought this beautiful, beautiful bomber jacket. So I brought her home and I, you know, I brought her home. I took her to the dry cleaner, had her all cleaned up. I put her in the closet and I decided, you know, I'm gonna style this up. I'm gonna wear this soon, child didn't wear it not one time forgot that she was in my closet so i am so excited to style this up um i feel like pieces like this they really don't need a lot they speak for their sell themselves um it's a very it's, it's over here that's why i'm looking over here guys it is a very unique piece um so she doesn't really she didn't really require much at all so first I decided to style her up with the Jeffrey Campbell westerny Walton wedge boots with the thumbtacks around the toe. And then I just thought that those boots would like sort of dress her up or elevate her just a tiny little bit. Like she's casual. She's not too dressed up, but she's not dressed down either. Which this jumpsuit, she can go either way. You can do a lot with this jumpsuit. You don't need to add a lot, but... The jumpsuit speaks for itself, but with a shoe and a cute little accessory, you can turn this into quite a few looks. So the first thing that I decided to do was style her up with the Walton boots. I threw on a silver earring, a larger earring, the Bottega dupe earrings, and I put on my eyeglasses that are tinted like that reddish color. I threw on the Man Sir Gabriel, that Oxbloods bag, and that green and red together which is a great color combination together uh child she is she's doing the thing for us she's doing what needs to be done now i feel like this jumpsuit as far as like a day date or like a date night look is a great piece to invest in it's a great piece to have if you're going to be doing some type of activity racing or golfing or like a top golf type situation or any of those like fun activities this look or this particular piece is a great piece to have um and you can be stylish and you can be comfortable so that was the first way that i styled her up the second way that I style her up, maybe you guys are going to be going to like a little bit of a earlier activity and then you're going to be going to dinner like a little tiny bit later and you know you want to you want to throw in a little bit of heel but you don't want to just throw on any heel right so I added the a leopard print heel and I think these heels are by Kurt Geiger. I got them forever ago. I added a rhinestone bag by Express, the same earring. And now she's given a completely different vibe, guys. She's a little bit more elevated. She's a tad bit more dressed up. 
And I also added a sunny. Now, she is giving. She is giving, honey. She is giving. I love this look. And the last way that I styled up this jumper was with the Anuki boot, which we got into in our last video of styling winter boots in stylish ways. Check that video out when you get finished checking out this video. But the Anuki boot on, which is a more of a casual look, I put her also on with a cropped, cropped puffy vest that happens to be reversible. One side is like that same green color, the other side is like a more of a lighter sort of creamish sort of color. But again, this green is more of a neutral, so I feel like I could have done navy, I could have done a brown, I could have done almost pretty much any the, the ox blood color or bright red any other color vest would have also blended very well um with this look i added a, a same neutral color like army greenish color bag with this for a more of a casual pared down look um this jumper is just very very versatile guys she just really is and again like i said she speaks for herself she does not require a lot a ton of styling which is amazing when you can have a piece in your wardrobe that is so special just as special as this one is and it just doesn't require a lot of styling i love this look i love it i love all the looks so but let me know of the bonus looks which was your favorite and also let me know guys if you are going to be trying out any of these pinterest inspired day day date night looks so that guys is all of our looks this week thank you so much for stopping by the closet guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload i'll see you next week beauties Thanks for stopping by. Mwah.